Hey you guys, okay, so I am such a doofus. So when the kids came down, I pressed the pause button and I guess I was, I thought, it, anyways, I got confused and when I pressed the record button, I was really pressing the pause button and so I totally missed half the video. But really, this is what I created in the end. Um, and just, again, I just stamped again with the verse mark and, um, and went over it with the black and that's what I got. And so now what I would do next is I would probably take some watercolors because watercolors would take really, really well in here. And you can keep, you know, you can keep creating in here. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm probably going to keep going with this a little bit, maybe darken the edges with some of the black or do something really fun. But I just really wanted to give you a taste of what the pan pastels are like. So go ahead and check them out. Um, I bought them at my, uh, my local art store. So that's where you can find them. Uh, I'm not really sure. Might want to Google it and see if uh, Pan Pastels comes up and, and uh, where people carry them. But um, that is it. And like I said, they're awesome with uh, any paper resist that you have in your stash. Those work really, really great. So, okay, But I just wanted to give you a quick taste of um, what I ended up doing in the end. And my kids are in the background and I'm really sorry but I just really wanted to show you um, what it ended up looking and so I used a ton of watercolors um, and I know that the thing is you gotta watch right because if you put watercolors on here with the pan pastels they are gonna kinda blend so you gotta watch when you're when you're doing it so that they don't touch too much um, but I, I still and then this actually I inked with um, stays on so that's why the black actually stayed really well on here and I did that on the top so I used the same stamp just um, just not using the entire image, that's all. And I just used a really old Heidi Swap stamp, which is one of my favorites. It's this Cherish. And uh, just stamped that in the middle, and then I just put the date in with my initials on the bottom. And so this is my first page of my mixed media journal, and I'm so excited. So thanks again for you guys for watching, bye-bye.